Let's bring in Jessica Ahrens from the ACLU Senior Policy Council for Reproductive Freedom for more on this. Uh, Jessica, thanks for being here. The ACLU wrote in a statement, quote, the shift in the tectonic plates of abortion rights will be as significant as any opinion the court has ever issued. So what happens if this ruling does stand as written in this draft? Well, first, let me be clear that today abortion is still legal throughout the country. If you are a patient who needs abortion care and you have an appointment, keep your appointment. But what this means is that half the states are ready to ban abortion. Many, most of those states already have laws on the books that they could start to enforce if this ruling becomes final and Roe is in fact overturned. Um, and we know they won't stop there. States like Missouri have already signaled that they intend to try to enforce their laws outside their own state borders. And we know that ultimately abortion opponents want to pass a nationwide ban. So no one is safe. This overturning Roe will be a mass criminalization event, and that will harm the people most oppressed in this country, black and brown people who already face the most discriminatory barriers to care. And they are also the ones who are most likely to be surveilled and criminalized. So this is a stark moment that we find ourselves in. So Jessica, if, and again, it's an if, but if that plays out, what kind of alternatives would women have? Well, for the states that ban abortion, there are three uh, options that people in those states will face. One is if they're able to marshal the resources, they can travel to another state where abortion care is still legal. But again, these are fundamental rights. No one should have to leave their home state to get the health care they need. If a right is fundamental, it means it you have that right no matter where you live in this country. Um, the second option is that people will be forced to carry a pregnancy against their will. And, and we know what forced pregnancy looks like. It, it means people remaining in poverty. It, it remains it, it remaining tethered to abusive relationships and all sorts of other adverse outcomes for their pregnancies and their well-being. Um, and then the third option is that some people will consider self-managing an abortion, um, which can be quite safe and effective if people have the access to the right medication and information, but there are legal consequences. As I just said, um, this is going to be a mass criminalization event. And uh, when abortion is banned, it means every pregnancy loss is suspect, Is it can be suspicious and suspect to investigation and criminal charges and people being put in jail. Now, Jessica, in this draft opinion, Alito apparently writes, uh, quote, although the court acknowledged that states had a legitimate interest in protecting potential life, uh, it found that this interest could not justify any restriction on pre-viability abortions. The court did not explain the basis for this line, and even abortion supporters have found it hard to defend Roe's reasoning. What's your response to that, that on the legal basis, this legal decision in Roe v. Wade essentially made no sense? My response is, at what point in pregnancy should someone lose their rights? When does someone in pregnancy lose their constitutional rights? This, the, the Roe decision was based on mounds of precedent. It, it, it built off a, a firmly established right to privacy that the court determined was embedded in our constitution. Um, that includes the right to contraception. That includes, that later um, included the right to same-sex marriage. Uh, you know, Roe and abortion rights are the canary in the coal mine, but all of our rights are now in the crosshairs uh, if this ruling um, comes out. All right, as, Jessica as it was drafted. Jessica Ahrens from the ACLU. Jessica, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.